any new innovation, there is a complex web of people involved in its adoption or rejection, perhaps more complex than you anticipate. There are many constituents. Some will help you, others will try and stop you. Each must be considered throughout the process and try to think of all of them as your customer. In our first video, Building a Business Case, we had you identify key stakeholders and develop hypotheses about why those stakeholders would care about your invention. Be as specific as possible. The hardest part can be getting started. When you're doing ecosystem mapping, there's no secret or hidden knowledge that you need in order to do it. Anybody can do it. You just get a whole stack of sticky notes and some kind of blank wall, and you start without even thinking about it, just writing out places that your technology could go. So for us, for batteries, we would write out drones and electric vehicles and consumer electronics, cell phones, tablets, all these things, and just sticking them on a wall at random. And then you, once you finish that, you kind of take a step back and you look at it and you say, well, these things are kind of related to each other and you start moving the stickies around to cluster them together. And so then you can start to see that you don't have to worry about all of the segments within, say, mobility at once. There's probably things that matter to mobility as a whole. And then when you deep dive into one of these clusters, you can start talking to people specifically. Oh, well, if this assumption is true for mobility, is it bikes or cars that it matters more towards? And so that way you're, you're taking the whole universe and making it into these bite-sized chunks. And so that makes it much more manageable. Rarely is adopting a new technology up to one person. You must understand and convince the entire ecosystem of stakeholders. You have a decision maker makes the final decision to purchase. An economic buyer, the individual or group that issues the PO or signs the check. You likely have a saboteur, hurt by the proposed solution and actively seeks to undermine its adoption. Influencers, swaying the decision but stops short of direct yes or no recommendation. End users, the day-to-day -day users of the product or service, Within that group will be the early adopters, the ones who love your technology the most. Let's take batteries and electrified vehicles as an example. Sure, you may think, I want to sell to the Fords and GMs of the world. But have you considered how it will affect the insurance companies who will be selling policies, the utility places who will have to provide the power source, the service of the car when something goes wrong, before you start customer discovery, you need to consider everyone who could be affected by your technology. It is especially important to get beyond the company level of understanding your ecosystem and understand the personal motivations of each person within each organization. Remember that the decision to use a new technology or not is made by individual people, each with their own set of motivations. With such complexity, it might seem overwhelming, but mostly you just need to organize, prioritize, and create intent behind each audience and interaction.